Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. Today I have a review for you from Village Candle. This is Black Bamboo. Really, really neat, like dark, dark colored wax on this one. I like these, I like these um, apothecary jar candles from Village. I mean, they have their good points and their bad points and we're gonna get into all of that soon, trust me. This candle is 21.25 ounces. It's got two cotton wicks on it. They say that you should not trim these wicks and I will back that up. You never wanna trim wicks on a Village candle. Um, it's a 170 hour burn time and I can attest to the fact that these candles last an extremely long time. I started burning this one at the very beginning of summer last year. It still took me a long time to get down to this point. I did burn it all the way down until all the wax had liquefied and I could see the wick nickels uh, through there. And this candle, oh gosh, I got it on Amazon Canada for $33. If it's still up there, I will link below. I also noticed that you can get it on the Village Candle website right now for $21.95. I got the scent notes off of the website. Uh, you get top, mid, and base. The top notes are chamomile blossom, Mediterranean bergamot. The mid notes are black bamboo, lotus flower, and saffron. And the base is sandalwood, cedar, fern, and amber. And so I, you know, Village Candle, I bought this online without, you know, smelling at first, just based off of the scent notes. And it really does deliver on those scent notes. This is a really nice bamboo candle. You guys know how much I love bamboo candles. Um, Fresh Bamboo from Bath and Body Works. Um, I love the Golden Bamboo Candle from Homeworks. And this is another one that I'm gonna add to my little bamboo uh, collection, my bamboo repertoire, if you will. I think I'll repurchase this. Uh, it, it definitely had a presence to it. And the scent is, you know, you definitely get that sort of bamboo vibe that we've come to expect from bamboo candles, which is a very botanical, green, lush, sort of balmy, almost a kind of moist type of fragrance. And this one definitely does have a bit of that amber and musk on the base, and it does give it a little bit of a not quite perfumey vibe, but you know, this definitely isn't something that I think someone would necessarily want to smell like, but there is something about it that, because there's also bergamot in the top and you definitely get a little bit of something zesty and citrusy. And so there are lots of sort of scent notes in this that would indicate leaning towards some sort of a perfume or a cologne, but it doesn't quite go all the way there. It does smell to me more like a, a, a natural candle. And I really, 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 really like this one. I don't pick out the chamomile blossom in the top note. Mediterranean bergamot, I get bergamot. I can't say it's Mediterranean bergamot. Come on guys, give me a break. <laughs> but there's definitely some bergamot. Um, and then black bamboo, uh, you know, bamboo isn't a really strong, uh, a really strong scent. But I think that we all sort of now have an idea in our mind of what a bamboo fragrance smells like. It's that sort of botanical, greenery, lush, a little bit humid and watery type of fragrance. Lotus flower and saffron. I can't... Saffron is something that's pretty distinct that, you know, you would usually pick up on. But I'd just say that there's a little bit of a generic floral in there as well. And yeah, and then on the base, you definitely get something that's a little bit woodsy. It lists uh, sandalwood, cedar, fern, and amber. Amber I pick up on for sure. Um, the cedar wood and sandalwood, that can be sort of like just interchangeable into a sort of slightly creamy, um, woodsy finish. And yeah, I really, I really, really like it. 
Now, when it comes to performance, I mean, village candles are really kind of, uh, village candles are really kind of in a bit of a league of their own. Uh, you have to be very patient with them. Um, I've had some really bad experiences with some village candles that I couldn't, I couldn't even really finish them, but I've also had some good experiences and this was a good experience. Uh, this got up to like a 6.5 or a 7 in a medium space and honestly, it's not really one of those fragrances that I would want to be super, super abrasive. I thought that it was quite nice. You know, when you had some good burns happening in the mid range with a deep wax pool, it definitely got up to that 6.5 and almost a 7 in like a medium to large space. I did have it in a larger space for a while and I found it got a bit lost, maybe a 5.5 to a six in there. And I also tried it out in a bathroom, a smaller space, and in there it definitely hit a seven. And in fact, kind of um, didn't really appeal to me in a smaller space. I actually preferred having it in a medium to large space where it was kind of sitting around a six or a 6.5. It was really pleasant and lovely. And it did, it, it had a natural sort of vibe to it. It didn't smell like an artificial fragrance, you know, wafting around it. It really kind of, it really did kind of have that transportive sort of um sort of vibe where you know it kind of put you in a different climate <laughs> mm, black bamboo um yeah i think that with village candles there's always going to be certain points at which you get some teeny tiny wicks and itty bitty flames and you kind of have to just let it keep going one of the good things about village candle is that i don't think that you know, you run into problems if you burn them for longer than three hours. You know, these have a 170 hour burn time. I'm quite certain that there were times I would let this burn for like five or six hours and it didn't seem to struggle, uh, struggle with that at all. Um, and like I said, like with most village candles, there were a couple of times where it kind of struggled to get going. But for the most part, these almost always autocorrect themselves. But you do have to be patient with them and you can't mess around with them. You just kind of have to let it work itself out on its own and do its thing. That's a lesson that I've learned from burning a lot of village candles. And so it, it takes a certain type of candle burner to be able to appreciate these. I do think I'm going to buy it again. I, I'm hesitant to recommend this. It is kind of a niche, uh, kind of a niche fragrance. If you do like things like fresh bamboo from BBW, golden bamboo, greenhouse fern, if you do tend to like those types of candles, this might be right up your alley. And if you've burned village candles before and know what to expect from them, and you like fragrances like this, I definitely recommend this one. This one burned well um, for a village candle. I do kind of put them in a league of their own because I think that they have some really, really nice fragrances but they're just not one of those candles that you know you can fire up and have your house full of fragrance within 20 minutes they just don't work like that you know what i'm saying but overall that was a pleasant experience of a candle for me thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it if you could hit me up with a like a comment a subscription that would really mean the world to me and until next time my dear friends Let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.